What are some of the worst ways to study? What's the worst possible way you could be spending your time when you're trying to study and get all the information you need for a test or a big exam? Some students get really frustrated when they say they've studied for hours and they still don't do well on a test. Remember, practice questions are one of the best ways to study and to test if you know the information you need to know for a particular exam or test. In this video, I'm gonna go over the worst ways that you are spending your time studying and tell you ways that you can improve those to make them a little bit better. The first one I'm sure you all know is something that if you've been on this channel for any amount of time, I discourage all the time, but it's a fan favorite of students and that is highlighting. Highlighting itself is not an active form of studying, even though it feels like you're actively doing something by going back and highlighting your textbook or your notes, you are not actually spending time linking ideas together and remembering information that you need to recall for a test or exam. Highlighting is so popular among students because it feels easy. It feels nice highlighting big words or themes or ideas that you feel like you're going to need to remember, when actually those are probably not going to stick in your brain if highlighting is the only thing you do to study. If you really love highlighting, one way I can suggest to make it a little bit better of a study method is to highlight only key words that you feel like you'll need to know for the test and then take out your tried and true friend flashcards and make flashcards with information about those highlighted terms. But highlighting itself is a really poor study strategy and I want to discourage you from doing it as much as you can. Next up, rereading the textbook or rereading your notes is another really popular way to study that is not super effective at all. If you feel like you missed the information the first time around, this may be a good idea to get the information for the first time, but when you're focusing on studying or remembering the information again so that it sticks with you for the test or the exam, or even being able to apply the information, rereading it is not going to do much for you. You want to make sure you're doing something to recall that information, not just seeing it again without thinking about it. One way you can use reading or watching or listening even in a new way is to find the same information conveyed in a different way in a different source. For example, if in your class you had to read a chapter in the textbook, but you still don't feel like you understand that information, you can go and watch a video on that same information to really help you get it in your brain. Then later, you could go and do practice questions on the problem, one of the best ways to study, and see if you really do understand it, but after a little bit of time. Another really popular way to study that is not very effective is rewriting or retyping your notes. Students spend a lot of time doing this, and some students say, well, it helps me better organize my information, or I can see them better now, or I like to see the, all the notes that I wrote again. But rewriting your notes without making any changes to them is not a really great study strategy, especially if you're copying the information word for word from what you wrote the first time around. What you can do instead is, is synthesize your notes or create an organization of them in a new way where you connect ideas and information, categorizing it, sorting it, making a mind map, but some other interpretation of that information. That'll help you remember the information, put it in your brain in a new way, making new connections, and hopefully help you remember it better. This is especially helpful if you do this without looking at your actual original notes, and then you open up your notes and go back and fill in the gaps for the things that you missed. Another ineffective study strategy that I know you'll probably do and that I have done in the past is doing all of your studying in one session. It is much more effective to go back and recall information at different dates and times with little gaps and study breaks along the way. The more you go back to information that you've already been exposed to or that you've already received, the more you're going to remember it in the future. So it's really good to have small little chunks of study sessions along the way leading up to your exam, not just one big all-nighter cram session. But if you do have to cram for a test or exam, again, I've done it in the past too. I do have a video on best ways to cram for an exam, so be sure to check that out. I'll link it in the description below. One of the worst ways to study is to multitask or have lots of distractions and multiple pieces of information coming at you at the same time. That means listening to music while you're studying. That means going back and forth with chat and text with your friends, having screens on in the background, or just being in a distracting environment. If you're thinking about too many things at once and you're not able to deeply focus on the content that you need to study, and you're not going to be able to give it the attention it needs. Some people think they're really good multitaskers when actually what you're doing is making really fast transitions in your brain from one thing to the next. Humans are actually really bad at holding two simultaneous thoughts at the same time. So do yourself a favor, cut out the distractions, and try to focus on one thing at a time when you're studying. Yeah. And remember, you can always go back to the tried and true practice questions to make sure that you're studying the right things in the right ways. What questions do you have about studying? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. Give this video a like if it's been helpful and I'll see you later.